This is Lauren Hildebrand, and you are watching Ed Magic TV. It's simple to see it's Ed Magic TV, so the world can believe it's Ed Magic TV. It's simple to see it's Ed Magic TV, so the world can believe it's Ed Magic TV. Miss Beverly Hills 2010 here with Lauren and she has four Billboard hits. She just released her um, her summer album. So tell us how that how says how is that going with you? It's going great, you know. Um, I have a performance coming up uh, just after I get back from Thanksgiving here in Hollywood. So I'm excited about that. And I'm just working on some new material, um, kind of looking to do something a little different, but still kind of stay in the pop genre. But um, yeah, just kind of get a different feel out there. So that's great. So tell me, who have you? Who do you write with? And do you write your own music? I co-write with people. It's it's hard. It's different to collaborate with different people. So the last album that I wrote with, I wrote with a team of like three people sometimes, sometimes just one on one, sometimes four people will sit in a room and um, the last group that I worked with is called the Senate. So it's a group of about six people and we kind of just sit in a room and one of us will think of an idea and we'll kind of just go off of that and create melodies and uh, the lyrics from that. Yeah, that's great. That's process though. But sometimes it's hard. You could sit in that room for hours and just come up with really stupid stuff and then just scratch the whole thing. Yeah, that's great. So tell me about one of your favorite new songs that you have coming out. Um, you know, I'm not sure what my next single is going to be. It might be the title track of my album, which is called Not Really a Waitress. So I thought maybe it would be a good spin on, you know, the lifestyle in Hollywood and most people pursuing um, this career, especially a lot of indie artists here. You know, it's like, got to have to make a living somehow. And if you're not touring and selling millions of records, you know, you have to find a way to kind of supplement that. And so it's called Not Really a Waitress. So I think a lot of people can reach out and kind of, I think they would like it. Awesome, that's great. Um, so, one more thing. What is what what is something that you're looking forward to this upcoming year? And a project you're working on, an event you're going to. What are you looking forward to? I'm looking forward to getting back in the studio. I really love being in the studio. I love creating new music, and I feel like just even from a year ago, I feel like I'll have a different mindset going in there, and just want to see what we can create. That's great. Well, thank you so much for interviewing with us.